We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with MMAT Metal Materials Inc. And in today's video, we're also going to cover MMTLP Torchlight Preferred Shares as they're both sitting sideways trying to hold up support here within the volatility. But they weren't the only stocks experiencing volatility. The overall market did as well. And our spy bot at 9 40 a.m sent out a bull indicator and from that moment forward the inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 200 percent plus within hours guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to the bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge of the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with mmat fighting to stay above 180 we were talking about some key levels yesterday and today it rejected again at the same resistance that it rejected yesterday so we have some key levels to talk about and what's going on here within the charts and the inflow versus outflow but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunities i mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity of the charts check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the first home run was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot sent out a bull indicator since 9.35 a.m. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. Our second home run, we caught this one in the pre-market, TOPS. We were watching it sitting sideways in the pre-market. We were looking for inflows to pick back up and stay above the midpoint. And as you could see there, it stayed above the midpoint, shifted from red to green, full strength there on 42 vision, and hit a highest point of 25% plus within minutes, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity of the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with MMAT, Meta Materials Inc. Bouncing, as I stated earlier in the video, above 180. Today, it was actually 185. It continued to try to hold itself up. And then it hit up here again, 190s to 193 area. And rejected before going any higher, guys. And 190 has been a big resistance. And $2 more specifically as well. And 180 to 178 has served as a pivotal support that lets us know if there's any strength here or how weak this could get. So far, it's stayed above it. It's been above it, but it's been a fight here, guys. So we need to talk about what's going on within the charts. And you could see full transitions happening from the white with red borders to bright green, from bright green back down to the dip area, and so forth back from the dip area to the rip area, right? And this is what we use on 42 vision to be able to see the dips from the rips. If it's your first time coming across the channel, we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow, which I'm going to pull up here as well. And you can now gain access to them as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of our growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with mmat with the inflows crossing over yesterday it got a bull indicator and quickly got rejected by a bear indicator here right around the same area the bull indicator popped up at 187 and that has seemed to be the middle ground, right? It tries to bring itself up, then it comes back down and crosses it. And now it's fighting to come back up as well. And the inflows are still above, guys. So we have a hidden divergence here. If this finds support and bounces back up, these inflows are holding up the stock. Now, if the outflows start to dominate and it comes down towards the midpoint or crosses it, this could quickly start to reflect into the chart and the support levels 
that we've been talking about will be crucial and pivotal here on any pullback going into next week guys so let's go ahead and break this down here on what's going on in multiple time frames so within the volatility on the 15 minute outflows have crossed i'm going to be watching if it could bring itself back up and start to bring itself back up here as well because in the volatility it is under a bull indicator here at around 187 no bear indicator just yet and it's trying to hold itself up above 180 and 185 here at these levels so we're going to look at that very closely going into monday and on the 30 minute we're above the midpoint and on the one hour it's red but we're above the midpoint as well it's the one thing holding up this stock from completely collapsing the fact that it has not crossed the midpoint to the downside even being after that bear indicator popping up here at around 190 so very very critical levels here where we're at and i'm going to be watching if it could hold itself up and switch on the one hour from red to green pull away from the midpoint continue to reflect into the chart cancel that bear indicator and get a bull indicator in the process and on the 30 minute we want to stay above 185 below that is 180 178 area and then the next two supports i'm watching is 175 to 170 and we're going to watch if these outflows cross downwards or if it stays above and pulls to the upside i'm going to be watching for this bear indicator to cancel by a bull indicator and in the process upwards to break back above 195 area and then two dollars there's been multiple rejections at two dollars at the 190s i want to see this get back above the 195 and then start pushing towards two and if it can find support there and continue with strength then we can start talking about 210 and higher levels on the charts now mmtlp has also been in a sideways action but inflows have been trying to pick up here as you see there in the chart and this is critical because within the volatility through the pullback it still has a bull indicator here no bear indicator just yet and inflows are picking up through this hidden divergence as long as a bear indicator does not pop up and these inflows actually dominate back above the midpoint as they crossed here and they can continue to pull up to the upside away from the midpoint on the 30 minute on the one hour and multiple time frames it could start to reflect pretty quickly into the chart with strength here so i'm going to be watching some key levels and we're going to look at this together here in just a moment so the first thing is we obviously have mmtlp sitting sideways at 820 found support here fighting to stay above eight dollars and you have the one hour here going from red to green but still below the midpoint we want this to cross back up and it's been under a bear indicator since way back here at 12 dollars now on the downside here we're going to be watching as well if these outflows continue to dominate and bring things back down well eight dollars is the first support and below that is 750 back to the upside though if these inflows can continue strong on multiple time frames such as the 30 minute the 15 minute and stay above and pull to the upside we want to see this get back above 850 and the next resistance is nine dollars you could see double rejections here in the last few days and even back here on november 30th there rejections at around 880s to nine dollar area nine dollars is a pivotal resistance to try to break back out and reach those other levels such as where this bear indicator popped up above ten dollars right or right around the ten dollar area so nine dollars is pivotal and then we'll be watching ten dollars above that but we need these inflows to be strong here within the volatility right it's just now crossing over next week is going to be interesting we want this bull indicator to stay true no bear indicator popping up and inflow staying strong on the 15 minute 30 minute and the one hour time frame as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money